Hello, this is Jamie from GEMA US. I just wanted to spend a few minutes here going through the GEMA app and show you what it can do once you have paired it with an OptiFlex Pro. Starting here at the hamburger stack, we'll go into settings and we'll set up here a few options. Currency, today we're using US dollars, you're using pounds, meters cubed per hour, here's the powder. We can put what we pay per pound right here, so today we're using $2. And then the next one is the wear item setup. So the items inside the gun are designed to wear out um, inside the gun, and these are counters for them. And in a roughly 450 hours, and that's trigger hours, once you pull the trigger and let go of the trigger, it stops counting. But 450, the injector will wear out, the nozzle, the gun electrode, and then the powder hose is 1,000. So that's where we set these up. We'll back out of this, and we're going to come into... The setup, uh, the setup mode here. So we'll come in, take a look at it. This area here will show me what the software version is. It'll also tell me if there's anything wrong with the machine, any help code problems. So if you had a problem with it, maybe somebody cut the cable in half or something went wrong and you didn't know what was wrong with it, you can hit send diagnostics and this will pull up an email and you can send it to whoever services your equipment and this will tell you what the serial number is. It tells the software version, the hardware, how many time, how much time is on the machine. And then also it tells them if there's any help codes and all the system parameters. So these are all really important information for the technician. And then it would help him diagnose. So today we'll get back out of this, come back to the app, and then we'll come back again to the main screen and look at application. So looking at the application, this is what the control unit is set up with right now. So we're on program one, our fluidization is at point one, our rinsing air is at point one, our microamps is at 100, and our KV is at 80, and our total air is 2.0, and our powder is at 50. So that's what the machine behind me is, is, is reading. We're gonna change this, and maybe we'll go to 3.5. Seems like a better number. And we'll hit save. So now the machine has just made a change. So now it's this is what you can do in this screen here is just change the outputs from the app. We'll go back to the main screen and we'll go into line management, which is pretty much where you'll spend most of the time here. So come in into this one. This will give you a lot of information here. So it'll tell you what the productivity is of the of the day. So it'll tell you when you have been triggering and when you have not. So Obviously, we haven't been triggering because there's no yellow bar graphs going up, and we haven't done any today. But this month, we've done a little bit of triggering today. Um, we have. So this will just show you what it'll do hourly, daily, monthly, and yearly. So it tells you exactly what the machine will do, and then the corresponding and powder also. We have not sprayed any powder. So... To, you know, this this last hour or we've not pulled the trigger today or this month we have sprayed a little bit of powder and that shows up in grams so that's those two and then moving down to this one here this is this is the total time that's been on the machine and how much powder it's been used through it and then this section up here is a job counter so it'll tell you how much time that's been elapsed what it is costing you in powder, and how much powder you have sprayed. So to get into it, so if you have a long job, you're ready to start the job, you just press the record button, and this item will start to record. And then once you have stopped the job, so maybe it takes you a day or two, maybe it's an hour job, you hit stop. And then it'll, there's no field to, there's no field here, so because we didn't pull the trigger, so it, it would it show anything. But if it would have been pulled the trigger, it would have counted all of our coating time, the powder we sprayed, and how much we how much it cost to spray it. So it's just a nice little counter for you. It kind of gives you an idea what your cost was for that job when to powder coat it. Moving back into the maintenance, we kind of went through it a little bit, but this kind of breaks it down into days and weeks and hours um, with the settings that we have set up in it in the, in the system settings and the exporting. So right now I'm creating this P this PDF of what this machine has done. So I'm gonna open up the PDF. I'm gonna open it up into my books. 
and it's going to pull it up here. So this shows basically what we've done last hour, the last day, and then the month, and then what we've done in the year. So we've done a little bit of powder coating with this machine here. It's a newer machine, but just kind of gives you an idea what it'll do and what it won't do. And then we'll move out of this and come back into the GEMA app. And then back to the main screen. That's just a quick overview of what the machine will do. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave comments. Look forward to talking to you guys. Take care.